Improving the reliability of gas distribution networks Kuznetsov Sergei, Kolosiv Eliazander, Kuznetsova Galina. The safe operation of gas distribution networks is becoming increasingly important. There is a deterioration in the safety performance of gas equipment. The technical condition of gas distribution networks and their maintenance need to be improved. There is a tendency to reduce the number of personnel serving gas distribution networks, which also leads to a decrease in their reliability. In this situation, an important task to improve the reliability of gas distribution networks is to justify the number of maintenance personnel and improve the organization of their work. Recently, articles have been published in which various aspects of ensuring the reliability of gas distribution networks are considered. The issues of assessing the reliability of gas distribution systems, predicting their reliability, optimal control of gas transportation taking into account the reliability factor are considered. So far, the problems of organizing the effective work of the repair departments of organizations distributing gas have not been considered. The paper deals with the problems of improving the organization of the work of repair departments to improve the reliability of gas distribution networks. The work of repair departments must ensure a certain ratio of serviceable and faulty elements of the gas distribution network. This provides the indicator of the workload of the repair service, the average workload of one worker, the average number of faults in the queue and the average waiting time for faults in the queue. The equation for the number of serviceable elements of the gas distribution network has the form of equation 7. The solution to equation 7 will be dependence 8. The gas distribution network of large cities is a highly ramified geographically distributed system. Maintenance of such a system involves significant movement of workers. To speed up work, it is advisable to choose the optimal routes for the movement of workers, fig. 1. To select the optimal routes for the movement of workers, the branch and bound method is used. The branch and bound method has a tree structure for finding the optimal solution. The branch and bound algorithm is as follows. The set of routes is divided into two categories, containing a direct transition from vertex to vertex and not containing it. For each category, a lower score is found. Division of one of the already existing subsets into two subsets is performed according to the method described above. Calculation of minimum values for them. If one of them is an already constructed route, then the minimum changes. The selection of the minimum values of the constructed routes is performed. The combined block diagram of the model for troubleshooting the gas distribution network and the choice of routes for the movement of workers is shown in FIG. 2. In FIG. 3 shows a simulation modeling module that implements the developed mathematical model of the work of repair departments of a gas distribution organization. It is developed in the MATLAB Simulink environment and consists of separate Simulink functional blocks connected by links. To simulate the real flow of gas equipment malfunctions and the work of repair services, the following information was accumulated in the database. Description of the operating mode of the repair services of gas distribution organizations. Description of the flow of repair requests typical for the operation of the gas distribution organization. Description of the gas equipment recovery flow typical for the operation of the gas distribution organization. Modeling the execution of requests for the repair of gas equipment consists of the following stages. Control of continuous model time. The time of receipt of repair requests is set from the database of real requests. The service time for repair requests is selected from the database of real repair requests. Determine the moments of occurrence of events. Receipt of a repair request from the dispatcher for service. Receipt of a repair request in the queue. Transfer of the repair request for service to the contractor. Leaving the repair request from the queue. Completion of servicing the repair request by the contractor. Simulate the execution of requests for the repair of gas equipment and accumulate statistical data on the process. Indicators of the quality of service of repair requests are determined by processing the results of modeling by methods of mathematical statistics. To build expansion blocks for the simulation modeling module for executing requests for equipment repair, a top-down construction scheme was used. Building begins with defining the goals and objectives of the blocks and moves up and down. In the development process, detailing of individual blocks is carried out. This ensures the systemic integrity of the simulation model. The blocks of the model are consistent across all areas of development. Using the developed simulation model for servicing gas equipment, calculations of the work of services of a gas distribution organization were carried out on the example of the city of Voronezh. In FIG. 
4 shows the results of calculations of the work of the repair services of the gas distribution organization. As a result of the simulation, all the characteristics of the work of a real repair service of a gas distribution organization were obtained when working with a real flow of faults. An assessment of the sensitivity of each indicator to a change in the value of the intensity of the flow of faults and the intensity of the flow of repairs is obtained. This made it possible to identify shortcomings in the work of repair departments and determine the main directions of its improvement. Conclusions 1. On the basis of the queuing theory, a model of the work of repair units of gas distribution organizations has been developed. To determine the optimal number of personnel for repair departments, the model uses the reliability indicators of the gas distribution system. Relationships have been obtained linking the number of malfunctions of the elements of the gas distribution system and the number of maintenance personnel. 2. Maintenance of gas distribution networks is associated with significant movements of workers. To speed up the work, a method has been developed for choosing the optimal routes for the movement of workers using the branch and bound method. 3. It is advisable to implement the system for choosing the optimal routes for the movement of workers together with the GPS monitoring system for the movement of workers. With the introduction of this system, the efficiency of work is increased, the management of business processes is improved and funds are significantly saved. 4. Application of the results obtained in the practical activities of the repair departments of gas distribution organizations will improve the planning of their work and increase the reliability of gas distribution networks. 5. The approach used can be used when planning the work of repair departments of any geographically distributed engineering networks.